Smartphones are at the heart of India's digital revolution. Farmers are using technology to get better weather forecasts. Smartphones are ushering in a new, a new generation of services, changing the way people shop and move. Students are accessing education resources and creators are using smartphones to find a global audience for their talent. No wonder more than 500 million Indians own a smartphone today. That's set to grow up to a whopping 966 million by 2023. To meet this mega demand, OPPO, one of the world's leading smartphone manufacturers, with a sprawling state-of-the-art factory in India, equipped to manufacture over 50 million smartphones a year, is raring to produce 100 million smartphones every year or a smartphone every three seconds. Our process is divided in small, small seconds. Each second counts for us. Combined with a research and development center in Hyderabad, this super factory is OPPO's bold bid to win consumers in the world's second largest smartphone market and to use India's brightest engineering talent to take the next big leap in smartphone technology. It is a quiet morning inside OPPO India's manufacturing facility in Greater Noida. A little over 62 kilometers from India's capital, New Delhi. In a matter of minutes, over 10,000 workers will walk through these doors. Streaming into different sections spread across 110 acres. That is more than twice the size of Eden Gardens, one of India's biggest cricket stadiums. Some will man the winding assembly lines. Others will move towards testing labs and spacious warehouses. The place hums. Man and machine working in sync to meticulously assemble and produce smartphones. Over 50 million of them every year. Damyant Singh Khanoria is the man with the responsibility to establish OPPO in the mind space of the Indian consumer. The way to look at the Indian consumer really is they're very demanding. Uh, they, they demand product that's, that's high on technology. They demand product that's durable. Uh, they want the latest in their, in their products as well. However, they, they also kind of desire relatability, right? And, and what that kind of means is they want technology that plays a meaningful role in their lives. Building life-defining technology is a challenging process. The modern-day smartphone is a powerful device often described as a handheld computer. It comprises thousands of components. Some of them are physical, such as the power button, multiple camera units, the receiver, and the fingerprint module. Others are digital, chips and processors that are the heart and brain of smartphones mounted on a printed circuit board. The successful combination of design and technology to build a smartphone is no mean feat. OPPO India's mega manufacturing facility was established in 2016. The factory quickly developed into a hub, producing up to 6 million smartphones a month during peak season. The plant's manufacturing section is divided into four parts. A smartphone's journey begins inside the surface mount technology section or the SMT floor. This section of OPPO's factory is a glimpse into the inner workings of a modern shop floor. This is where the printed circuit boards, often called a motherboard in common parlance, come together. Every time you run the zoom dial or take a photograph, these chips and processors make calculations at dizzyingly fast speeds to deliver results. 
So how are these minute computation devices assembled? Think of this machine as a printer. But instead of ink on paper, it lays out thousands of micro components on the printed circuit boards or PCBs, soldering them in place as per a preset map. This beast of a mounting machine can hold 37,000 micro components per hour. Subhash Vishwakarma oversees the most important part of the SMT line. Before he enters his workspace, Subhash, like everyone else, must wear a uniform made of a special carbon-infused fabric. This fabric neutralizes any static electricity discharge because even a micro milliampere of static electricity can kill a microprocessor. A deionizing pathway will be the second line of defense to ensure he's not carrying any charge onto the floor. यूनिफॉर्म जब पहनता हूं जब भी मुझे बहुत ही ज्यादा प्राउड फील होता है कि हम इसे पहन रहे और जा रहे उसी काम को करने जो कि हर कोई को करने के लिए नहीं मिलता है लेकिन हमें ऐसा मौका मिला है और हम करते हैं कि मेरा काम फीडिंग का है हम वहां पे रील जोड़ते हैं उसमें जो पीसीबी बनती है उसमें जो कंपोनेंट लगते हैं हम उसको जोड़ते हैं जो कि बहुत ही क्रिटिकल काम है वो it is Subhash who ensures that the super-fast mounting machine's feeder reels never run dry. If he inserts a wrong component, the entire system will come to a halt and adversely affect production timelines. He must be vigilant, quick and most importantly, accurate with his workflow which involves multiple scans, visual inspection, sample collection, and the refill. Each plate processed through the mounter holds four printed circuit boards meant for four individual smartphones. As sophisticated as these machines are, their output is checked. And even double-checked, by a team of highly trained engineers. Only then do they move ahead and are cut into individual pieces. Narendra Singh Yadav, a manager on the SMT floor, understands the intricacies of a powerful modern-day manufacturing unit. Man or machine, we synchronize karte hain. the installation of software onto the printed circuit boards, the electrical tests, and the signal checks are all processes which involve futuristic machines and an alert human mind. Together, they assemble your smartphone's building block. एक तरह से हम सप्लायर हैं स्मार्टफोन बनाने वाले एसेंबली के लिए जो पूरा प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट है तो इसलिए ये हमेशा हम पे प्रेशर रहता है और ये चैलेंज भी रहता है कि ऑन टाइम हम डिलीवरी करें. The technology program into these printed circuit boards is key to the smartphone's popularity in the market. Tech analyst Prabhu Ram has closely studied India's technology sector frequently tracking consumer trends within this dynamic field. Indian consumers are quality conscious and value driven. Across price points, they seek the best at the very cutting edge prices. You know, for a smartphone brand to be successful in a hyper-competitive market like India, they need to focus on three things. And those three things are quality, value, and most importantly, user-centric innovations. Challenges like these are a catalyst for the minds at Oppo India who constantly strategize ways to consolidate the company's position in the Indian market. Taslim Arif heads Oppo India's research and development group. His team has been at the forefront of some of the biggest innovations at Oppo. 
Today, a smartphone is an experience, an enabling experience. Oppo is investing 7 billion US dollar into research and development over the next three years. Technology changes are happening at a breathtaking pace, and we want to make sure we continue to pioneer some of these changes. With that in mind, Oppo opened up a research and development center in high-tech city Hyderabad. It is among Oppo's five research and development centers and the only one outside mainland China. Located on the ninth floor of a suburban high-rise, this is Techie Central. The team of 400 here work on an exciting new frontier that will define the smartphone in the years to come. This includes improving camera and image processing, deploying AI to make a faster and smarter device, tailoring OPPO's operating system, ColorOS, developing efficient architecture to extend battery life, gaming, payments, and building the next generation 5G networks. Our R&D center, where we have some of India's best engineers, has quickly established itself as a significant catalyst in Oppo's effort to develop new age technology solutions. Oppo's Hyderabad team have been pivotal to India's push towards 5G technology, a communication network which can be between 10 to 100 times faster than 4G. While most 5G tests in India involved non-standalone models, Oppo states they developed their solutions on standalone platforms. This allowed their engineers, along with telecom operator Bharti Airtel, to successfully test 5G speeds in Hyderabad. Oppo India is also the first smartphone brand to complete a successful WhatsApp video call over the 5G network in 2020. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Up, sir. And so our big push really in the coming years is going to be around 5G devices. Oppo is going to be focusing on bringing this technology to the millions. We really want to scale the use of, of 5G products. Uh, and that's really what our focus is going to be in the coming years. Imagine a time, and it's not too far away, when you can have blazing speeds for all your smartphone functions. You can also access content in a totally different manner on your handheld devices. And you barely see a rise in your monthly bill. If you look at smartphones, they're probably the most transformational product that's, that's ever been used by mankind at scale. Uh, and so the way we look at smartphones in, uh, in OPPO is, is we see this product as a great equalizer. So we believe smartphones are going to do for our consumers what, what the steam engine did for the industrial revolution uh, or what automobiles did for the United States. So really, I think our philosophy of building great product, simplifying them, and really bringing them at scale into our consumers uh, is what's going to drive growth for us. We are at Oppo's factory in Greater Noida, a mega facility that aims to produce 100 million smartphones a year. That is one smartphone in three seconds. It is a part of the company's 2200 crore investment in the country and stands at the forefront of the Indian government's Make in India initiative. Launched in 2014, Make in India encourages companies to manufacture their products in India. Oppo was one of the pioneering forces in building India's smartphone manufacturing ecosystem. For Elvis Joe, the driving force of Oppo's India operations, creating a world-class smartphones hub in Greater Noida, catering to India and the world, remains a pivotal goal. So Oppo's vision is to make it in India for the world. So we were not the only produce the product for India market. We will also export the product to Africa and the Middle East. That is no small task when millions of micro parts need to be assembled, tested, and packaged. 
So by the time we reach the end of this sentence, the factory would have already produced one more smartphone. Yearly, monthly, daily, and even hourly targets are set and constantly tracked. Umesh Sharbha is tasked with managing this gigantic machinery. Our process is divided in small seconds. If we lose anything there, then our output capacity will lose. Each second counts for us. Umesh is part of a core team of executives who have established the processes at the factory. This team includes production managers, industrial and process engineers, and the quality check manager. All the expertise required to efficiently execute production targets. Today's target is our 300 lakh phone. The planning department doesn't only give us the assembly of the plan. They generate the SMT and the warehouse. So, every department is trying to execute the plan in the same direction. That's why the coordination is very important. The printed circuit boards put together on the surface mount technology section. The printed circuit boards put together on the surface mount technology section along with other smartphone components, make their way to the assembly floor. This is the biggest and busiest section of the factory. There are 52 rows in this room. Each row has 37 assembly stations and 20 test stations. At its peak, more than 7,000 workers work in this space. On average, on one assembly line, there are 60 people. Display units, speakers, batteries, and the vibration motor are among scores of parts to arrive separately at these stations. However, they leave as one a smartphone that will delight their user. Like everything else in the factory, the assembly line is on a clock. Adequate supply of components is crucial. If any station here runs out of even a single component, the entire row will stop functioning. Satish Kumar, the warehouse manager, ensures this never happens. He's the go-to guy for requirements or shortages in the assembly room. A specific number of smartphone components are stored here in the supply warehouse under Satish's supervision. We have a given point of time 1.2 million smartphones for our parts available. We have a systematic process here. So, whenever we have a shortage in our assembly line, we have to know which software is going on. We have to get an intimation from which line is going on. So, we are ready to get it in our system. Now, this is the assembly system. We have to get the assembly If we have chosen the right part, then the system will approve it. And if that part is wrong or it's wrong, or it's a wrong part, then the system will reject it. Satish and his team can dispatch hundreds of micro-parts for 200 smartphones in under 10 minutes. In a time-sensitive process, this allows the assembly line workforce to work with a singular focus. Your future smartphone comes alive bit by bit on these workstations. Every feature you use, without giving it a second thought, is carefully mounted and buckled onto the frame. The fingerprint module, which you need to navigate the screen, is installed here. So is the all-important camera. The camera is arguably one of the most researched and celebrated components of a smartphone. Over the years, the technology and the number of lenses which power your smartphone's camera system have grown by leaps and bounds. With respect to this, like we need your Oppo's India team has contributed to some of the biggest advances in camera technology. 
These include a motorized camera system leading to the first truly full screen experience. The pioneering 44 megapixel plus 2 megapixel dual punch holes and the 10x lossless hybrid zoom technology. If they are linear at that point, uh, suppose this line... Kaushal Prakash Sharma leads OPPO India's camera research and development team. The first feature everyone checks on a phone is the camera. We have always worked on not simply repackaging the existing solutions but developing industry-defining ideas. For instance, we also created the first ever hybrid zoom and that has usually improved the quality of zoomed in photographs. Now with integrated AI technology in the camera domain, we are revolutionizing OPPO smartphone cameras yet again. OPPO India's research team has deployed artificial intelligence to improve landscape photography, scene recognition and video recording features. So your camera adjusts the image on its own by reading the light and elements in the frame. Result? A stunning image and video each time. But sometimes, even the best global technology stumbles in local situations. We discovered that many selfie filters erase the bindi which Indian women wear. AI would see that as an aberration. We tweak the AI to fix this. Our beautification filters not only understand the Indian skin tones, but also recognize the bindi as a part of natural Indian attire. For males, the algorithm can also dial up the face with fuller beards, deeper eyebrows and richer pronounced eye features. Back at the manufacturing unit, the assembly floor operator is now the crucial link for every algorithm to provide optimum results. They are guided by a process sheet filled with checklists and system flows. Each operator is mindful that a single error in mounting can produce a future glitch. Teamwork के बिना phone नहीं बन पाएगा क्योंकि अगर जैसे मैं किसी line पे काम कर रहा हूँ तो मेरे पीछे जो operator है उसने अगर कुछ skip किया तो then पूरा phone defective बन सकता है तो हमारा process ऐसा है कि self check और जो पीछे से ऑपरेशन होके आया है, उसको भी हमने चेक करना है। Operators on the floor are equipped to work at any assembly station. Each of them has been a part of OPPO India's rigorous training schedule. SMT manager Narendra leads many of these programs. महीने भर की ट्रेनिंग देते हैं और स्टेप बाय स्टेप हम बताते हैं, प्रैक्टिकल कराते हैं, ट्रेनिंग देते हैं, फिर उसके बाद उनका एग्जाम होता, जब वो परफेक्ट हो जाते हैं तो हम उन्हें मास प्रोडक्शन के लिए अलाउ कर देते हैं। These sessions are designed to create a well-trained workforce equipped with technical skills and troubleshooting capabilities to operate this world-class plant. प्रेशर डालने के लिए हम ट्रेनिंग पे काम करते हैं, हम अपने प्रोसेस पे काम करते हैं, हमारा प्रोसेस बेटर रहे, एम्प्लॉयी ट्रेन्ड रहे, मशीन वेल एंड गुड कंडीशन में रहे, ऑटोमेटिकली वो प्रोड्यूस हो � OPPO's Greater Noida Super Factory and the men and machines part of it are at the heart of the company's ambitions in India and across the world. We are fully committed to India not only as a market but also as a production center and R&D powerhouse. The smartphone makers plan to increase the workforce at this super factory to 15,000 workers. It is a shining example of the Make in India initiative. And with increased productivity and workforce, it also aims to double its contribution to the Indian economy. This is OPPO's sprawling manufacturing facility in Greater Noida, a super factory that churns out over 50 million smartphones every year with plans in place to double the production very soon. It is an indication of the company's rising status that according to an International Data Corporation report, as of October 2020, OPPO grew 40.2% year-on-year. But big numbers are only a part of the story. 
Oppo's success in the market is built on the quality of their smartphones. Only when the devices meet every criteria are they packed and shipped to the world's second largest smartphone market. Quality is important in every step. If we think that if we don't have quality, then we don't. If there is a quality-related quality problem, then when we come as a production manager and quality manager, we come to the floor and check what the problem is. क्या डिफिकल्टी है जो हमारा सुपरवाइजर या फ्लोर इंचार्ज सॉल्व नहीं कर पा रहा है उस प्रॉब्लम में इन्वॉल्व होके हम ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा ये कोशिश करते हैं कि सॉल्यूशन प्रोवाइड किया जाए। Each smartphone is tested even as it is put together on the assembly floor. There are 20 test points on each assembly line. The checks are either manual or made by state-of-the-art machine. This particular machine checks whether the lens unit and image circuitry is focusing sharply. While this station examines the smartphone's on-the-go connector. If the smartphone passes the test, it moves along the assembly line. Or else, it moves into a box which will be retested. Our targets are very defined. We have to finish in a particular time, dispatch and store in a warehouse. We have to face the challenge of daily that our product doesn't make any wrong. The intense quality checks mean the pressure is relentless. An automatic laminating machine pastes a protective film on the smartphone as it nears completion. After passing across 57 stations, your smartphone is ready. Well, almost. Manoj Chaudhary is the master checker at the end of line 11. His distinct cap color indicates that he is the final pit stop for every batch of smartphones produced on his assembly line. His watchful eyes are trained to evaluate these freshly minted devices. हमारे स्टेशन क्या होता है कि टोटल 25 आइटम चेक होते हैं जिसमें से हम विजुअल इंस्पेक्शन करते हैं और फंक्शन इंस्पेक्शन करते हैं। 25 आइटम चेक करने में मुझे 300 सेकंड मिलती हैं। As part of his visual inspection, Manoj will check for dents, scratches, and structural defects before performing functional tests. जो डिवाइस लाइन पर जो मशीनें चेक करती हैं, उसके बाद हम उसको मैन्युअली टेस्ट करते हैं। जो कि मैन्युअली टेस्ट हो उसमें हम कैमरा चेक करते हैं उसका जो फंक्शन टेस्टिंग होती है जैसे सेंसर होते हैं सेंसर हम चेक करते हैं उसकी जो एलसीडी होती है हम एलसीडी चेक करते हैं उसे कैमरे में रिफ्लेक्शन तो नहीं है उसमें कोई डॉट वगैरह तो नहीं है स्पॉट वगैरह तो नहीं है वो सारी चीज़ें हम चेक करते हैं हमारा एक बैच एक मास्टर चेकर चेक कर रहा है उसमें दो पीस होते हैं अगर उसमें एक भी डिफेक्ट निकलता है तो वो हम पूरा बैच रिवर्क करते हैं हम रिजेक्ट कर देते हैं even as Manoj tackles the pressures of a super factory to ensure not a single defective device enters packaging. Away from the plant, Oppo's tech experts face similar scrutiny. A smartphone launch is an anticipated event for tech-savvy consumers. The launch of Oppo's Reno 5 Pro 5G smartphone is an opportunity for the company to make an impression on those who demand something new, something innovative every year with every new launch. When you look at the consumers themselves, you know, uh, there are two different types of consumers, right? There is the one which is the mass market one who are, uh, you know, relatively late adopters to technology, so they are okay with just getting the price right. Then there is this new breed of consumer, which are the millennials as such, you know, who are looking for the best in class innovation capabilities, as I said, around the camera, around battery, or any other innovation which they seek. It's a milestone where consumers are keenly awaiting new announcements across the product, features which they clearly anticipate, and the brands respond to that. Oppo's research strategy is rooted in a desire to improve the lives of their users. That's why Oppo India's research team gather information from the Indian smartphone users on ground. The team then gets going on developing technological solutions to remove the constraints. Any path-breaking innovation has to empower large section of society. We want our technology breakthroughs to impact every Oppo user. This solution cater to the premium segment customer as well as everyone 
who wants an affordable phone. The Hyderabad team have registered more than 200 patents in 2020 alone. Some of these solutions are tailored specifically to the Indian smartphone user. Like a digital document locker. Other innovations include those that get adopted at a global level. For instance, pioneering work in VOOC, OPPO's charging technology launched in 2014. This has subsequently been amped up year after year by research teams working on battery and charging technology. OPPO's Super VOOC 2.0 is the fastest charging technology commercially available in India. OPPO claims that the new Reno 5 Pro 5G can be fully charged in 30 minutes, while just a 5-minute charge can provide 4 hours of video playback. Globally, the OPPO VOOC flash charging technology has helped almost 175 million users. OPPO India is already pushing forward with its strategy aimed at tuning its Indian R&D operation into a major pit stop for the global OPPO ecosystem. This is technology made in India, which will shape the future of smartphones across the world. We're driven by this, this desire to bring the best of the world and really marry it with what consumers in India really, really want. A key figure in adapting the smartphone operating system, Color OS, for every Indian consumer is Manoj Kumar. Today, he's studying the on-field impact of DocVault, a secure document storage software created by OPPO. Released just a few months ago, specifically for the Indian smartphone user, this is a true localized technology solution built on the DigiLocker stack of the Government of India. Many of the documents which were present in physical form earlier, uh, users are scanning those documents and storing on their phone. The way they were storing these documents, especially in the My Files in the phone, is not the safest way to uh, store their documents uh, because many other applications are also accessing the My Files section. So uh, that's how the Doc Vault started. Doc Vault allows you to scan and securely store confidential documents, which you can easily access on the go. You can also retrieve your documents stored in DigiLocker through Doc Vault. When we, we built our first prototype and then we showed it to uh, many of our colleagues and we also uh, went out in the field. Uh, this is actually the process when we build a prototype, we show it to our users and especially to our ColorOS community members. And we showed uh, this prototype to them and they found it really interesting. Our users were really liking it and they felt that this product is needed in India. Buoyed by the success of Doc Vault, OPPO India wants to expand their localized solutions. C. Krishna Mohan is part of one such initiative. He is a senior professor at the Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. This prestigious institute has entered a two-year research and innovation partnership with OPPO India. So this partnership is intended to facilitate the AI research for OPPO devices to improve the efficiency and speed by introducing robust cutting-edge algorithms. You know, one meter distance or two meter distance so that, you know... Uh, it will accelerate preparation of accurate and lightweight AI models and optimizing their performance to achieve real-time operation. And these real-time operations play out in towns and cities across the country. For many young entrepreneurs, these tech solutions are a great equalizer. They can film tutorials, conduct classes, and develop high-resolution moving images. A gamut of tasks which can happen glitch-free and at the touch of a button. At OPPO, we, we humanize technology. 
what we bring to our products is ease of use. Uh, we bring meaningful innovation in our products. Uh, and so if you look at what's happening in the world uh, and where India is headed, it's really about us leveraging the power of the digital economy in the coming years. On one hand, this spurs Oppo's engineers to build more localized solutions. On the other, it is an inspiration for India's young workforce to join the company. Oppo's aspirational team find themselves aligned with an international technology powerhouse rooted in India, with an opportunity to elevate India into an international tech hub. But innovation doesn't happen in a vacuum. Oppo India is also empowering the Indian startup ecosystem. Over the last few months, we have signed multiple MOUs with the government of Kerala and Telangana to boost the startup ecosystem in the respective states. With big investments in R&D, Oppo India strives to give their users an experience at the cutting edge of technology. Undoubtedly, it will also cement India's place as an innovation hub in the world. Phone after phone that come out of Oppo India's facilities bear the mark of innovation and quality. The phones are just millimeters thick, an intricate combination of glass, plastics and metals. So how ready are they to face the big bad world? Can they withstand a fall from the desk? What if someone steps on it accidentally? Can it withstand the torrents of Indian monsoon? or maybe even a dust storm. How about voltage fluctuations? Mohammad Saud grapples with these questions every day. His job is to push Oppo phones to their very limit. Oppo Reliability Lab mein 100 plus test hai. The tests involve structural assessments such as stress and drop tests electrical performance checks and environmental aging tests which include the smartphone's adaptability in different environments. Hamare yahan jitne bhi test hai unki strength customer jo use karta hai usse 3 guna 4 guna zyada hai. Muhammad Saud and his team adopt a no holds barred attitude in this fascinating testing lab. The smartphones are put through the ringer during each assessment. In the hard pressure test, the smartphone functions are tested after a 35 kilogram push is applied a hundred times on it. For the variable temperature test, smartphones are placed under extreme temperatures ranging from 50 to minus 50 degrees Celsius and their functioning capabilities are measured. For the micro drop test, the device is dropped 28,000 times from a height of 10 centimeters. We are all testing, so this is a mobile boxer. When it goes to the market, it is a stage where it gives its best performance. In a short duration, Oppo India has managed to establish a large footprint in the country. This performance arena is now ground zero for new innovations and the brand new smartphones. However, this is also the beginning of another test for the makers. The relationship between the consumer and the brand does not end at the end of the uh, smartphone sale but it rather begins there. So which means uh, over a period of time, they would look at uh, how the brand uh, is able to answer their queries, is able to resolve any issues they have. So the entire aspect of service becomes much more important than the sale itself. In this relationship spans the entire lifetime of the product itself. Oppo India has a wide network of 500 plus service centers across 500 cities in India. A few covering far-flung areas in Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. 
they've also developed a 24-7 AI-powered chatbot, Ollie, which can resolve many common issues users face. The engineers at the service centers are trained to dismantle smartphones, identify issues, and provide time estimates for repair. Based on market research, OPPO claims 95% of complaints are resolved within 60 minutes. This, according to a market study, puts OPPO on the top when it comes to after-sales support and service. But most importantly, the data from these centers provide managers back at the factory with useful insights for enhanced quality control. As we move forward, uh, I guess the, the important thing for us would be to continue doing some of the things that have made us successful, uh, but at the same time bring an X factor to our products with great design, uh, with technology that's accessible, uh, with technology that's easy to use. Uh, and that's really what's, what's, what's going to kind of drive our growth in the future. India's smartphone users are ready to welcome a new era. Enabled by innovation developed and manufactured in the country. We will continue to push the boundaries of technology. The Hyderabad R&D Centre will soon see six functional labs and our research and development team will grow into a substantial 500 plus members team. The smartphone manufacturer is poised to expand their infrastructure to meet the challenges that lay ahead. In the next three to five years, we will be going ahead with our planned investment in product center. We always you know, keep the customer satisfaction as the most important task for us. OPPO's ambition mirrors India's by tapping into some of the best minds to push the boundaries of technology. making investments to create mega facilities. The company is creating smartphones that unleash the country's creative and entrepreneurial spirit. Millions of Indians will march into the future with a smartphone that has a homegrown stamp of approval. A smartphone built inside a super factory in the heart of India. In a village called...
the in rajkot gujarat a group of entrepreneurs engineers technicians are better and faster than ever before to install all a spanking new state of the art potato wafers production line बाहर से जो इंजीनियर से वो नहीं आ पा रहे हैं तो ये प्लान हमें हमारे खुद से उसको सेटअप करना है और अच्छा प्रोडक्शन निकालना है तो इस बार थोड़ा सा चैलेंजेस है बट वी आर एक्सपर्ट श्रगिंग ऑफ अ पैंडेमिक दैट मेड देम शट शॉप ब्रीफली फैक्ट्री में हम चक्कर लगाते तो सुमसान पास आता है कि जो हरा भरा फैक्ट्री डेली 24 घंटा चलता और अचानक उसको बंद करके काफी दिन बंद रखना पड़ा द टीम ऑफ बालाजी वेफर्स हैज टू ब्रिंग इट्स ए गेम रेसिंग अगेंस्ट टाइम टू पुल ऑफ अ यूनिक कमिशनिंग जस्ट इन टाइम फॉर द फेस्टिव सीजन इन इंडिया एक लंबी रात है तो एक लंबा दिन भी आएगा Balaji Wafers is one of India's leading snack food manufacturers set up in 1982. The company has factories in four locations across two states in India. Rajkot, Valsad and Vadodara in Gujarat and Indore in the state of Madhya Pradesh. The company makes over 50 varieties of products. from western snacks like signature potato wafers to nachos and pop rings to the very indian snacks like sev murmura chewda chana dal and various kinds of namkeens it's a 315 million dollar make in india brand that is a market leader in potato wafers and salty snacks especially in western and central india Started by Chandu Bhai Virani and his brothers, the company's day-to-day -day operations are now being handled by the next generation of Viranis. But it's not just another day at work for Kiyur Virani as he scans the factory floor at Balaji Wafers in Rajkot, Gujarat. Kiyur and his band of technicians and engineers have their hands full with a project that has been over a year in the making. They have missed all internal deadlines, but this is the last one they are setting for themselves. Getting it up and running for the festive season, which is just weeks away. The team is in the process of installing a new potato wafers production line, the PC42, something that should have been easy to do considering Kayur and his family have been in the wafer and snack making business for the last 4 decades. The new production line is going to be a critical addition to the growing capacity of potato wafers production at Balaji's. and in line with the state of the art technology that churns out their snacks and savories ye area mein jo growth ki demand aa rahi hai particularly jo potato chips mein to wo demand ko cater karne ke liye agle 5 7 saal ka future ka demand ko consider karke humne ye plant 
डिजाइन किया हुआ है Despite decades of experience behind the family run business, 2020 is turning out to be a year with a challenge so unprecedented that Balaji Wafers was not the only ones caught by surprise at a sudden move that stopped everyone in their tracks in the month of March. ये लाइन तो समझो चार महीने पाँच महीने पहले शुरू होने वाली थी तो लॉकडाउन वजह से एक एक जगह पे रुक गया और सारा समझो आ गया तो काफ़ी इंजीनियर लग नहीं आ सके तो इसकी वजह से कम से कम चार पाँच महीने ये हमारी लाइन लेट हो गई राइट नाउ Coming in through the wide doors of the factory are various components of the PC42, one of the most advanced potato wafers making lines in the world. The parts come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and need to be brought into the factory floor with tremendous amount of coordination and care as even the smallest dent can throw assembly off gear. हमारा नई पोटेटो वेफर लाइन का इंस्टॉलेशन हो रहा है तो उस टाइम पे हमें सभी क्रिटिकल इक्विपमेंट रहता है उसको वेरी केयरफुली विदाउट डेंट उसको प्रिकॉशनरी हमें नीचे रखना रहता है अ पोटेटो वेफर्स प्रोडक्शन लाइन कैन ब्रॉडली बी डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स पोटेटो प्रोसेसिंग द फ्राइंग सिस्टम एंड सीजनिंग एंड पैकेजिंग ऑल टुगेदर देयर आर नियरली 300 मूविंग पार्ट्स दैट विल कंप्लीट द जिग्सॉ कॉल्ड पीसी42 and when finally assembled it can process 200000 kilos of potatoes a day to make 60000 kilograms of potato wafers daily the new line will help increase the company's overall production capacity to 200000 kilos of wafers per day with daily production capacity of nearly 6 million packets of potato wafers a day they could produce enough packets in a year when put back to back they would go around the earth more than 8 times since early 2020 machines for the new production line were shipped to rajkot from all over the world the us japan netherlands and australia प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट को आपको अगर रिड्यूस करना है और आपको क्वालिटी इम्प्रूव करना है तो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा आप मशीनरीज और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा ऑटोमेशन में आप जाएंगे तो ह्यूमन एरर को आप एलिमिनेट कर सकते हो बालाजी वेफर्स रेगुलरली इम्पोर्ट्स फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड्स टॉप फूड प्रोसेसिंग सप्लायर्स स्टेइंग ट्रू टू देर फिलोसफी ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग इन द बेस्ट ऑटोमेशन डिप्लॉयड इन द फूड इंडस्ट्री It was a lesson Chandu Bhai learned very early in his life when his brother and he manned the canteen at Astron Cinemas in Rajkot in the 70s. गांव में कुछ था नहीं दो रोटी की चिंता थी बारिश होती नहीं थी कृषि रिलेटेड मेरे फादर का काम था तो चिंता ने चिंतन करके हम राजकोट आए 1974 अच्छा काम किया तो हमने दो साल में कैंटीन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पे दे दी तो हमारी हो गई कैंटीन फिर हम बाहर से लेके माल बेच रहे थे तो सप्लायर अच्छी नहीं हो रही थी क्वालिटी अच्छी नहीं आ रही थी तो सोचा कि चलो हम खुद बनाए चंदू भाई स्टार्टेड फ्राइंग वेफर्स हिमसेल्फ एट होम and with the help of family would manually pack them and sell them to patrons at the cinema and a few other outlets but he saw the pitfalls of doing things by hand an inconsistency in the product and a shorter shelf life acha maal banana hai to kaise banana automatic dalna hai puri samajh nahi thi bas automatic dalna hai machinery ek bar mehangi padegi लेकिन वो मशीनरी समझो 24 घंटे में कभी रुकेगी नहीं हमारा मेन मकसद है यही है कि एक बार महंगी चीज लेनी चाहिए 
कि वो महंगी चीज़ों की वजह से आज चार लोगों की चैन टूटती नहीं है अगर चैन टूटती है कंज्यूमर की तब एक विश्वास हमारे ऊपर से उठ जाता है Conventionally, a team of engineers from the manufacturer's end work alongside the client during an installation and commissioning. But this year, COVID-19 has redefined life and work for man and machine alike. Pandemic के कारण काफी दिक्कत हुआ है और एक तो ये हमारा जो plan basically जब हमने planning किया था पहले start हो जाना चाहिए था पर आज हम late चल रहे हैं. चैलेंजेस तो है पर इसे एक सीखने को भी मिल रहा है द टीम इज गोइंग थ्रू अ ह्यूज लर्निंग कर्व एज दे ट्राई टू पुट टुगेदर द न्यू प्रोडक्शन लाइन विदाउट द एक्सपर्ट्स प्रेजेंस द एलिवेटर एंड द स्टोनर अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट दैट रिमूव स्टोन्स फ्रॉम द पोटैटोस दैट कुड अदरवाइज कॉज सीवियर डैमेज टू प्रिसिजन कंपोनेंट्स इन पीलर्स एंड स्लाइसर्स इजंट क्वाइट फिटिंग इन इट्स प्लेस The elevator should be angled precisely for it to fit in. ये elevator है ना वो थोड़ा critical है तो उसका जो alignment रहता है जो उसका जो angle रहता है वो perfect होना जरूरी है तो एक बार हम dry run करके trial लेंगे उसके बाद ही हमको perfect मालूम पड़ेगा कि ये सही है कि नहीं है. But during assembly, the team seems to have gone off by a few degrees. डीले डीले चल रहा है मेरे टाइम से लेकिन वो रात को लेट तक करेगा आदमी सुबह तक चालू करना है मेरे को अभी ट्रायल करना है सीधा चालू तो नहीं हो सकता योगेश हैज मेड फ्यू चेंजेस टू द एंगल ऑफ द एलिवेटर एंड कीप्स हिज फिंगर्स क्रॉस्ड दैट इट बाइड्स वेल ड्यूरिंग द टेस्टिंग फेज व्हिच विल हैपन इन अ फ्यू डेज अब ट्राई कर रहे हैं कि जितना बने उतना हम फास्ट काम करें There's a lot that goes into making the perfect potato wafer from the size of the potato to the way it's handled scrubbed treated fried seasoned and packed Balaji wafers uses specific varieties of potatoes that are suitable for manufacturing wafers Right now a big batch is getting unloaded and the first thing to get done is a random quality check कर रही हूँ और इससे हमें स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी का पता चलता है और इससे हमें ड्राई मेटर मिलता है और अच्छे आलू में हमें 21 से 30 परसेंटेज ड्राई मेटर मिलता है पोटेटोज कंसिस्ट ऑफ अराउंड 80 परसेंट वाटर एंड 20 परसेंट ड्राई मैटर द हायर द ड्राई मैटर वैल्यू द बेटर द पोटेटोज आर फॉर मेकिंग चिप्स This batch of potatoes gets green lit and the produce travels up conveyor belts where they are dropped into silos for storage. At Balaji Wafers there are 16 silos that can store 480 metric tons of potatoes. From here it goes into a grader which weeds out the sub par potatoes that are possibly too small from there they get dumped into a rod washer for a good scrubbing down the potatoes get fed to a peeler and from there the peeled potatoes go into the harvester where the extra large ones are half from here into a sorter where deformed or spoiled potatoes are discarded next the potatoes are ready to get sliced wahan se usko fir air se usko sukhaya jata hai aur seedha hi usko fryer mein bheja jata hai and the wafers are fried before they get seasoned with balaji's in-house flavors from here It's up and away into metallic structures called multi-head wares from where they fall into various batches to be sealed into packets ready to hit the road for customers. 
we can supply with this order and, and recommend it. For the first time in Balaji Wafer's history of plant installations, the company is going to attempt a remote commissioning. So that can be organized. तो हमें इन हाउस टीम से ही पूरा हम काम कर रहे हैं तो अभी हमने ऑनलाइन कैमरास हमने रखे हुए हैं उससे हमारे टीम काम कर रही है हम ऑनलाइन उसको डेटा कनेक्ट करके हम पूरा पीएलसी प्रोग्रामिंग कर रहे हैं और काफी हमने सक्सेस मिला है नेक्स्ट वीक में हम पूरा ये कंप्लीट कर पाएंगे दो द प्रोसेस इज डिलेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द पेंडेमिक देयर इज स्टिल अ बिग फैक्टर बायोलॉजी वेफर्स इज काउंटिंग ऑन टू सेल थ्रू its people Balaji Wafers employs more than 5000 people across its factories which run 24/7 365 days a year A lot of these employees have been with Balaji for over a decade and have been given the exposure to work on the latest machinery at the plants Yahi hamara strength hai aur yahi hamara hame proud feel hota hai ki jo chote level se bhi हमारी जो टीम है जो कोई एम बी ए या तो कोई इंजीनियर आई आई टी से बैकग्राउंड से नहीं है और सालों से खुद हैंड्स ऑन काम करते करते और बाहर के टेक्नीसन के साथ इंटरेक्शन करके अच्छे से अच्छा टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम भी अभी ये लोग सोल्व कर पाते हैं असेंबली डन द न्यू प्रोडक्शन लाइन इज रेडी टू गेट टेस्टेड विल इट बी स्मूथ सेलिंग or will it set alarm bells ringing for the folks at Balaji Wafers Setting up a new potato wafers production line is par for the course at Balaji Wafers But not in a year where a pandemic disturbed their best laid plans for the installation And with the all important festive season upon India the team has their work cut out for them When work resumed after the lockdown all employees old and new had to be trained in health and safety as well as food production a time consuming process but one that needed to be done apan aloo ka color hai ye sakhi hua hai ye ye jo same color hai isko hi wo pass karega Globally the potato wafers market is valued at 30 billion dollars and studies show that developing countries like India are driving consumption. The Balaji Wafers family is betting on this insight as they bring the latest automation in snacks production into their super factories. A new potato wafers line that will help increase their production capacity by 30%. cementing their position as a strong player competing with international brands even before the lockdown uh, there was a shortage in our supply and we were not able to cope up with the demand and due to the lockdown the way people consume their snacks suddenly changed and uh, people started consuming more of packet snacks and due to that our demand shot up to a level where we have never seen it before and there was almost 50% uh, shortage in supply so that way in order to like cope up with the demand we're uh, going to use this uh, new production line the new line should have been installed and commissioned by mid 2020 but the pandemic came as a speed breaker delaying the entire project by over 4 months and now the team is working overtime to install and commission the line with just weeks left for the indian festive season to begin demand to kafi badhti hai aur har saal badhti hai to jo hame kisi bhi halat pe ye season mein hame production mein aana hai ye jo 2020 ka saal hamare liye hai ye exactly hamare 2020 ke cricket ke format ke jaisa chal raha hai iske andar humko लिमिटेड टाइम मिला हुआ है जिसके अंदर हमको अपने कस्टमर्स को हमारे वेफर्स और नमकीन उनके हाथों तक पहुंचाना है द न्यू लाइन इज फुली असेंबल्ड फाइनली एंड रेडी फॉर अ फ्यू क्रूशल डेज ऑफ टेस्टिंग हम प्रोडक्शन ट्रायल लेंगे 
और होपफुली वी विल डू अ गुड प्रोडक्ट हमारे टीम ने काफ़ी अच्छा काम किया है काफ़ी अच्छा इंस्टॉलेशन किया है और छोटे मोटे जो इश्यू है वो अभी हम एक रन दो रन के बाद थोड़ा सा अभी हम मॉडिफाई करेंगे As the new wafers production line gears up for testing, running parallelly are the multiple production lines that bake, fry, and roast over 50 types of snacks across a growing segment for Balaji wafers. We believe that if the product is good, if it's at the right price, if it's right quality and right quantity, you don't need to go out and like sell your product. It sells by itself. According to market research in 2019 the size of the Indian salty snacks market stood at over 390 million US dollars and the market is growing in double figures every year Balaji wafers understands this and takes this seriously taking inspiration from time tested grandma recipes that are found in every home the Indian snacks company is innovating new snacks on a regular basis for instance one of their best selling products is sev murmura and its masala variant producing nearly 3000 tons per month the key ingredient save is a thin wriggly crisp snack made of chickpea flour primarily to make save murmura puffed rice is lightly roasted and mixed with save and seasoned with a blend of indian spices mera to favorite hai ye save murmura isme jo lasan ka flavor hai na wo lajawab hai ideas for products like these come from extensive mixing and testing of snacks and flavoring at their r&d lab all under the watchful eyes of kiur ye hamara sabse important department hai company ka is a backbone of our company so yahan par jitne bhi naye products hai wo hum yahan pe innovate karte hain aur jitne bhi existing product hai uska usko kaise aur improve kare wo sab kaam ye department ki zimmedari hai तो नए नए फ्लेवर्स लाना और नए नए इंग्रेडिएंट्स का यूज़ करके जैसे कॉर्न है राइस है फिर अपना बाजरी है जुआर है उसको कैसे लेके एक अच्छा न्यूट्रिशनल प्रोडक्ट बनाए दे डोंट रिलाई ऑन ग्रैंड मार्स सीक्रेट रेसिपीज अलोन They also regularly bring in groups of people from their potential target consumers to taste and give their feedback about new products. And today, a special group of people have been invited for the tasting session. So today, we have invited our family, our family member, and our house children to come. You understand that the family member will not have partiality. Whatever it is, he will give you the answer directly. तो सबसे अच्छा फीडबैक हमें घर से ही मिल जाता है फ्रेशली मेड न्यू स्नैक्स आर गिवन फॉर टेस्टिंग एंड अ फीडबैक फॉर्म टू फिल देयर कॉमन सिन I really like the crunch checks because because of the taste and the texture especially the texture because it's like really a, a classic combination of um, the seasoning and I really love eating it Stack up and very very nature Hum yahi chahte hain ke jo bahar ke western snacks usko hum yahan pe laaye par apne indian taste ke sath apne local taste ke sath hum logo ko present kare मसाले हमारे इंडियन हैं, अपने हैं, देसी हैं, और प्रोसेस जो है वो हम बाहर की लेके आते हैं। In line with bringing in new Western snacks into the Indian market, Balaji's newest introduction is Stack Up, a premium wafer that is made using potato flakes. Even the packing of these wafers is different from the rest of the products. Balaji claims to be the only Indian company that is making this kind of wafers in India. And like all their other products, Balaji has kept the pricing of the product lower than the competition 
while using the latest technology and machinery. The depalletizer is an example of cutting edge technology being used to maximize efficiency. It's a robotic arm and it has just one job to do. Remove the cardboard sheets separating layers of empty canisters sitting on wooden pallets and put them on the conveyor belt. My whole pallet comes to layer by layer, depalletize and line automatically the canister to the product filling. Depalletizer is why we don't touch manually one by one canister to anyone. So the whole machine is taken layer with a layer. Empty can का layer उधर छोड़ देता है ताकि किसी का touch ना हो उसको क्योंकि उसके अंदर हमें product fill करना है capacity तो इसका काफी ज़्यादा रहता है depalletizer का लेकिन फिलहाल हमारी requirement है 9000 canister per hour उसी हिसाब से हमने set किया है यदि 20000 25000 can per hour की requirement है तो भी ये चल सकता है At most Indian factories the batter mixing process happens manually but at Balaji True to their mantra of automating and streamlining every process, this step is also getting a facelift through a process called continuous mixing. Now we have Balaji Wafers in the first time Reading Bakery system, which is mixed with silos and mixed with batching hoppers. It is mixed with a mixing screw, which is mixed with water and water, which we fry after the exit, which we get the output of the output. 1800 से 1900 केजी मिल रहा है जो पहले हमें सिस्टम में 1500 केजी पर आवर मिलता था। The key ingredient in the making of the wafers is potato, and a regular supply is a must if any production company has to meet the production process going. Since potatoes don't grow round the year. The prices of potatoes fluctuate from time to time depending on its supply. Besides, sometimes the supplies get stuck for unforeseen reasons. What are you talking about? Traffic jam is gone. Sir, you have to talk about the SP-50 part of the car, you have to talk about it. But being in this business for decades means that Balaji wafers are ready for eventualities like these. Cold storage. हमारा cold storage का capacity 25,000 टन का है और हम उसमें 10 महीना तक आलू रखते हैं। बीच में जब भी जब भी कुछ truck का strike या road चक्का जाम या rate का कुछ issue आता है, तो हम उसमें से use करते हैं। The potatoes are treated to suppress sprouting and are stored at 9 degrees centigrade. For the rest of their cold storage stay to make them last in their current state. बच्चा जैसे पैदा होता है और छः साल का सात साल का होता है उसको जैसी संभाल रखनी पड़ती है वैसा ही ये कोल्ड स्टोरेज में आलू की सब संभाल रखनी पड़ती है। Not all products that are made in the Balaji factories are made using potatoes. Nachos and pop rings are two products that Balaji Wafers has recently introduced in the market, a break away from its distinctly Indian snacks. The primary raw material is corn in the form of kernels for nachos and grit for pop rings. To make nachos, corn kernels from silos drop down into soak pits where they soak for 12 hours before being cooked in a kettle. From here, it forms a dough in the hopper where it gets shaped into triangles, baked in an oven, fried and then seasoned. The factory also produces pop rings, a baked extruded product. There's a mesh extrusion that gives the snack its shape. And the production line consists of an oven to bake pop rings instead of frying. Most of the Balaji wafer snacks, they are Indian products. With the advance in the time and generation, Moving forward, we are trying to bring in some of the Western products into the market. 
So, extruded snacks like pop rings, nachos, stackable chips, those are something which is new to the market. And now the testing of the new plant is about to begin. Kayur is on a round at the factory floor of the new plant. Through testing, each step of the process will be under the lens as a batch of potatoes are put on the conveyor belt. The first couple of processes including the elevator seems to be working fine. This is a good start. But suddenly, an alarm goes off. ये जो बॉयलर के फ्लेम सेंसर का इश्यू था कुछ बड़ा प्रॉब्लम नहीं था पर लकीली मैं जब राउंड पे था तब अचानक ये जो मॉइस्चर जो प्रोडक्ट का है वो अपने लिमिट से हाई हो गया था तो अपने आप वो जो अपना जो रिजेक्शन मैकेनिज्म है वो एक्टिव हो गया तो पूरा प्रोडक्ट लकीली बाहर निकल गया As the wafers come into the fryer part of the process the oil inside needs to be 180 degrees at this temperature the chips get fried for 180 seconds to get their crispiness if the temperature is higher or lower the sensor will automatically reject this batch of chips like in this case agar moisture apna range se zyada hoga aur range se kam hoga dono hi sthiti mein प्रोडक्ट खाने योग्य नहीं रहता है With that issue sorted, testing continues. While making potato wafer seems fairly straightforward, there are other products that are far more complicated. They demand careful mixing of several ingredients in exact quantities. Tikha meetha mix is made using 11 ingredients. Its main elements include chickpeas, corn flakes, peanuts, curry leaves, etc. Processing some of these ingredients takes hours before they pass through conveyor belts and seasoned to be sent forth to join the other ingredients. Tum tum, iska taste alag rahega. ये गाठिया है इसका अलग रहेगा यानी सब जो भी प्रोडक्ट जो फुली ऑटोमेटिक प्लांट में हम बना के फिर इधर लाके मिक्स कर रहे हैं और जो मिक्सिंग का वो जो पैरामीटर रहता है ना तो उसमें जिस हिसाब से सेट के या पी में उसी हिसाब से वो प्रोडक्ट आएगी बाद में मिक्स होके फिनिश पैकेट में पैक होता है Testing at the new production line is on its second day and everything looks and feels like it's going fine. As the wafers come out of the fryer, they go through a crucial step where good chips are separated from bad chips. This happens with the help of an optical sorter, a contraption that visually scans wafers to make sure spotted or brown wafers go into the reject pile and the others proceed to seasoning. देखो ये है हमारा परफेक्ट पोटैटो चिप्स इसका कलर पेल येलो है राउंड सेफ है और इवनली सीजनिंग कोटेड है और ये एकदम करारा और फ्रेश है बालाजी वेफर्स इज यूजिंग कटिंग एज स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट ऑटोमेटेड मशीनरी फॉर इट्स न्यू वेफर्स लाइन बट Will the wafers pass the stringent standards the in-house lab has set? The folks at Balaji Wafers are firing on all cylinders as they look to expand their production, presence and product range. Testing of the new production line is going well and all eyes are on the all important online commissioning. But before that, one important test. 
बालाजी वेफर्स में एक बहुत ही स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट तरह की लेबोरेटरी है जिसमें हम केमिकल फिजिकल एंड माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल एनालिसिस करते हैं ऑयल अपटेक एक अनदर पैरामीटर है जिसको कि हम चेक करते हैं अगर ऑयल लिमिट से ज़्यादा रहा या कम रहा दोनों ही स्थिति में वो सेंसरी में सही नहीं होगा तो हम उसे चेक करके एश्योर करते हैं और डिविएट होने पे हम लाइन पे इन्फॉर्म करते हैं जिससे कि ऑपरेटर उस पर इमीजिएट एक्शन ले पाए बिफोर द न्यू लाइन गेट्स फ्लैग ऑफ फॉर कमर्शल प्रोडक्शन The company also wants to ensure the wafers are not carrying any pathogens that might cause any harm to the consumers. हमारे यहाँ microbiological lab analysis है जिसमें कि हम food में pathogens हैं कि नहीं ये assure करते हैं उसमें Salmonella species, E. coli species हम check करते हैं और general test हम TBC ईस्टर्न मोल्ड एंड टोटल कॉलीफॉर्म्स चेक करते हैं एंड अश्योर करने के बाद ही हम उसे प्रोडक्ट को मार्केट में देते हैं फॉर एनी फूड रिलेटेड बिजनेस प्रोसेस एफ्लुएंट इज अ बिग फैक्टर एट बालाजी वेफर्स दिस एफ्लुएंट गेट्स टर्न इन टू अ रिसोर्स in their effluent treatment plant or etp the effluent that comes out of the process is put into the etp where it helps produce biogas this biogas is used as a fuel in chillers that function like air conditioners and provide cold air to packaging areas of the factory testing phase is almost at its end With a couple of minor tweaks, the line seems sorted, and the wafers are coming out looking good. The packing machine has been installed, but seems to be having starting trouble. Our installation commissioning team, our pass here is set up. But in some cases, either it is a big project, or it is some new technology, or it is some new option machine. When we have added it. तो हम लोगों को जापान से सपोर्ट लेना पड़ता है वो केस में हम लोग यहाँ से ऑनलाइन सपोर्ट इस बार ले रहे हैं क्योंकि वहाँ से अभी कोई आने की गुंजाइश है नहीं कोई आ नहीं सकता है तो अभी हम लोगों ने एक दो वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस किए थे और ऑनलाइन सपोर्ट लेके भी हम लोगों ने काम कंप्लीट किया है The state of the art packing equipment is delivering neatly packed potato wafers. The nine packing machines put together are spewing out around 1800 packets per minute. Once the potato wafers are packed into packets, they need to be boxed into cartons. This machine's robotic arm can push out 90 filled cartons every hour. Flat empty boxes are shaped into boxes, pushed onto a conveyor belt, dropped down from a level above into a cubicle with a robotic arm that fills in the necessary quantity of packed product. After which it is sent down another conveyor belt to be sealed and kept in storage. One robotic machine, we one hour, 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 और सबको पता है कि जैसे लॉकडाउन जब हुआ था तो मैन पावर में बहुत दिक्कतें आई थी तो वही दिक्कत अभी हमें नहीं आ सकती है उसके लिए वो भी एक हमारा अभी फायदा है बीपीएम ऑटोमेशन मशीन रखने से विद इंक्रीज्ड प्रोडक्शन द मैनेजमेंट एट बालाजी इज ग्लैड दैट दे इन्वेस्टेड इन द मोस्ट एडवांस्ड ऑटो स्टोरेज एंड रिट्रीवल सिस्टम और एएसआरएस This is where all finished goods get packed into cartons and tucked away in what looks like a multi-level car parking system. This 9 floors of storage can store up to 500,000 cartons. Hamara ye jo ASRS hai ye ek world class ASRS hai. Is ASRS ki cycle ki shuruaat बार कोड स्कैनिंग से होती है इसके अंदर कंप्यूटराइज एल्गोरिदम है जिसके अनुसार हर प्रोडक्ट हर रैक पे जाके अलग अलग फ्लोर्स पे जाके जमा हो जाता है यह इसलिए किया जाता है जिससे कि कंप्यूटर की द्वारा स्पीड मैक्सिमाइज की जा सके 
And when it's time for the finished goods to hit the road, there's an advanced STV or sorting transfer vehicle that does all the thinking. जो भी मटेरियल डिलीवर करना है डीलर्स को सी एंड एफ को उसके रिगार्डिंग हम लोग एक दिन पहले हमको उसका परचेज ऑर्डर सेल ऑर्डर मिल जाता है तो वो उसका जो भी डेटा है वो हम लोग हम लोग हमारे सिस्टम में लोड करते हैं तो उस जो लोड करते हैं तो डिस्पैच के दिन वो सारा मटेरियल हमारे स्टोरेज स्टोरेज एरिया से वन बाय वन शॉटिंग होके कन्वेयर के थ्रू एस कलेक्ट करता है और वो बार स्कैन करके पर्टिकुलर डीलर और सी को डिलीवर करता है A new normal, a new potato wafers line, a new way of commissioning, just on time. Two thousand twenty was turning out to be an unpredictable year for Balaji wafers, where at the peak of the pandemic, they were left with an empty factory, overflowing products, and no manpower. For any company that wasn't so heavily invested in automation, this could have spelt doom. जब ये पैंडमिक आया और लॉकडाउन 1.0 पॉइंट जीरो आया तब हमारे पास अराउंड थर्टी करोड़ का स्टॉक था लेकिन हमारे पास जो पूरा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम है वो एफिशियंट है डिस्पेज भी काफ़ी हमारे पास ऑटोमाइज और स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट फैसिलिटी है डिस्पेज की उसकी वजह से ये पैंडामिक के टाइम पे हमने वो थर्टी करोड़ का डिस्पेज बाकी दो या तीन लोगों से ही पूरा डिस्पेज करके हमने मार्केट में वो चीज़ पहुँचाई The team has pulled off an entire installation of potato wafers line online, adapting to the new normal that came with COVID-19, disrupting conventional practices. काफी हमें अच्छा लगा कि हम ये चीज कर पाए और हम चाहते हैं कि नियर फ्यूचर में भी हम इसको यूज करें ताकि हम मेन मूवमेंट भी कम कर पाए वहाँ से समझो बाहर से लोग आते हैं तो उसमें भी काफ़ी टाइम लगता है काफ़ी खर्चा लगता है तो जितना हो सके उतना रिमोटली आप मशीन्स को इंस्टॉल कर पाओ चालू कर पाओ तो वो काफ़ी अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस रहा है एंड नाउ विद लॉकडाउन अ थिंग ऑफ द पास्ट एंड द फुल फोर्स ऑफ द टीम एंड मशीन बिहाइंड Balaji Wafers is all set to commission the new line. A delayed dream, but one that happened just on time. बहुत खुश हूँ ये जो पीछे लाइन है वो नई लाइन अभी प्रोडक्ट देखी कैसी प्रोडक्ट हो रही थी एकदम क्रिस्पी और सॉफ्ट तो ये अच्छी प्रोडक्ट है एक हमारा नया बच्चा नई प्रोडक्ट एकदम तंदुरुस्ती की तरह देख के हमको एक For the second generation Virani entrepreneurs, this commissioning makes them a chip of the old block. Following the Sultan of Wafers into a future that is dotted with the latest in food automation, while being a self-reliant made in India brand that thinks local and acts global.
कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड मेरे में शफा बचपन से था मेरे ख्याल से शायद दस बारह साल की उम्र का होंगे तो जब हुआ तो बड़ा डिसाइडेड था कि ये तो मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर बनेगा तो जब पहुंचे कॉलेज में तो पिताजी ने इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग में भर्ती करा दिया हमारे को खैर मैकेनिकल की नॉलेज पहले थी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स की कॉलेज से आ गई इलेक्ट्रिकल भी हमने पढ़ा तो मेरे को ना टू मैरी टू सब्जेक्ट्स बिकेम माय स्पेशलिटी आज की डेट में जो कुछ भी हो रहा है आप देखें यहाँ पे ना सब तरफ टेक्नोलॉजी चल रही है सब तरफ चल रही है बिजली पंखा एसी ये वो आप देखेंगे किसी ना किसी के अंदर कुछ रहा है कुछ चल रहा है तो चीज़ों का मिश्रण हो रहा है तो दैट इज वट इज माई एरिया ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज एंड आई टू दिस फील्ड ऑफ मैन फूड पैकेजिंग मशीन्स 